I guess today I'm going to be working on some electrical things going on in order to put an automatic gate opener in up here. I've already leveled this gate up, but I had to run power uh, to... I had to, I had to, I need to run another circuit in here. So I got to looking at my box, and this is just a, uh, uh, just a uh, outside electrical panel. I looked at my box, and lo and behold, I got no more room in it for another circuit. This is just a 30 amp, 30 amp service coming out here. The only thing it pulls any amps on, on anything out here is this air compressor. It is a 220 though. I didn't think I had run 220, but I did run 220. So I don't know what size. I run probably a 10-2. Uh, cats in my barn. And I've killed the power out here already. But anyway, I got, uh, like I said, I got three circuits out here right now. One circuit's got these lights on it. The second circuit has got these, these two outlets right here. And then there's a dedicated outlet back here on the third circuit, 30 amp. Because this compressor trips out 20 amp breakers sometimes when it starts up. So I had to put a 30 amp circuit in there and it took up all my room. So what I ended up having to do, I want to put a a uh, electrical outlet over here on this wall dedicated circuit for this uh, automatic gate opener so I had to go to the local Home Depot and I'm sorry for the wind it's a bit windy today and I picked me up another circuit breaker load center it's way really it's overkill for what I got in this building but this is a hundred amp six spaces or 12 circuits so I only needed one more space so I still have a couple spaces left if I ever decide to upgrade and run two, uh, a bigger wire out here or I can run a welder or something this will be fine so this is what it looks like basically looks just like what I got except it's got two more spaces on there and uh, yeah it's actually got four more spaces on there mine only had two spaces or four circuits all right so I got that and I got some fish tape I need some fish tape to what run a wire up the wall and I got a uh, another uh, 15 amp breaker for that separate circuit I couldn't find the narrow breakers like I got in there so I had to use that's gonna take up a whole space on that one breaker but anyway that's what I'm fixing to do now is uh, I got the power killed I'm going to unwire this box and put the new one up and give you a close-up shot of this one and then I'll show you the new one so there's this one power comes up comes out goes into the building and here's the new one and here's the new one and what a pain in the butt I don't have everything hooked up just yet right now all I've got is lights because the breakers that were in the old box the little narrow 15 amps don't work with this they, they were GE breakers uh, for some reason the square D <coughs> the square D fit the old box but the G breakers wouldn't fit the square D boxes because it was too narrow so I'm going to get two more breakers so right now I've just got the lights and I went ahead and put the 30 amp in here for my air compressor but I've got to get some 12-2 uh, to run new lead down <coughs> I've got to get some silicone to seal up that hole but now that I've pushed the 12-2 up in the, in the wall cavity I probably just shot myself in the foot running it and uh, I may end up having to run it outside and out and we'll have to figure that out because as, as, I, as I'll show you in the video about right in here there's a plank 
that goes all the way across all the studs that kind of blocks that wall cavity from going up. So I'm hoping I can uh, I'm hoping I can do something, but I ain't I ain't sure what I can do now. What what I'm going to do, which I did shoot a video talking about it. What I'm going to do with this new drop is I'm just going to drill a hole right up there in the side and, and just come outside and down with some conduit. And I've got to get uh, I've got all the conduit I need. I've just got to get a few fittings for it. So tomorrow I'll pick that up and hopefully we'll get the rest of the stuff wired up. All right, now that I got everything unwired, and really the hardest thing was getting these these little nuts, these little nuts off. That one nut right there was the, was the hardest thing. This door kept falling on me. But all I got to do now is just take these two screws out and lift this thing up and off this wire, and then I've got to uh, get the other one out and line up these pipes with holes in the bottom hopefully they'll line up without being that fur over we'll see all right guys well a little bit of misalignment issues i got this and i got a man it just ain't this ain't lining up too good it's not tall enough so i may end up having to replace this section here well this is not turning into a easy job at all every one of these wires is going to be too short the old box they hooked here now they gotta go way up here and hook well it would be so much easier if I could turn this around well it's the daggum job that just won't quit giving got this one done and I've got that one done rerun the leads out I don't have 12-2, enough 12-2 to do that one, so I can't do it right now. So I was going to go ahead and run my other, my other run, but unfortunately, right across here, if y'all can see the nails, there's a, a board that goes all the way across in between the studs. And that's got to prevent me from going over the top and down like I wanted to. This is not as easy as I thought it was going to be. It's been a couple of hours just getting these two new wires run out and then finding out that this is a 12-2. And since I do have it on a 30 amp circuit, I really should have 10-2. But uh, I had it on 20 and it kept tripping the circuit. I think it's just a bad compressor motor. So uh, what to do? Uh, the only other thing I can do, and I've got enough conduit to do it, is to just cut a hole in the top and run it straight down the outside of the wall. I'm thinking, uh, just go up right up there where the siding is, drill me a hole, run some conduit out of it. I've got the, uh, the stuff to do that with and just uh, run it on right on down. The only thing I don't have is the, I can come in this hole right here, knock this out, come into the side. That's the only one on the side. Anyway guys, stay tuned. And we'll get the rest of this wired up. And as soon as I get an outlet over here on this wall, we'll start running electrical out and get this automatic gate opener hooked up. That's all I'm waiting on is getting some electrical run. Stay tuned for more. Right now, all I've got is lights. <clears throat> because... The breakers, oh great, now I ain't got lights, I bet I've got, I bet I've got outlets though, so. let's see if 
I got outlets. Find another plug in. outlets All right, what is going on here that is the one that goes to it jeez can not find my button I ain't got outlets I ain't got lights Oh, you know, <laughs> you know what? I forgot to turn the breaker on. <laughs> 